What's up guys, here with Tom Tater, and today we'll be reviewing Naruto Shibuden chapter, manga chapter 602, Alive. And in this chapter we get to see Madara Uchiha, slash the Uchiha ghost as he wants to call it. And uh, pretty much we see him just taking care of Obito, slash Toby as of the moment. And we can see basically everything that happened in the past. And this was a great chapter, I honestly really love this chapter. But there are three questions I have. Now I think there are two, but I don't know. So first of all, we all do know how Madara got resurrected with Edo Tensei. Now what he did say was he's a ghost slash Shinigami, which is a soul reaper for those of you who don't know. And with that being said, he said he was living living off the Ghetto Mazo, and if he were to be unattached from the Ghetto Mazo, he'd actually die. Now with that being said, that makes me believe that he did say he was um, surviving off the chakra. And chakras are one of the key things when you're talking about Naruto. I mean, that's the reason why Zetsu isn't able to um, copy the Byakugan's powers because he, just because he's a master of disguise doesn't mean he has the blood or any of, like, he may have the DNA, but I guess he may have the blood, but he doesn't have the blood, like, you know, that's the thing that's separating from actually using Byakugan, because you've never seen a Zetsu actually use Byakugan, like, he's never said, Byakugan, you know? So, with that being said, he's surviving off Chakra, and I believe he was younger. He's been surviving off Chakra for some time now. Now, with that being said, he did say he did give his um, now with that being said, I believe he did give his Renegon to someone else besides Obito. Like, he did say, I gave my eyes to a, to someone else. Now with that being said, I'm wondering who he gave his eyes to. You know, like, where did he give his eyes to? Because he did say, I only have one left eye and I need a right eye. And he was talking about Obito giving his one eye to him. And then he would be blind and of course he would die because he wouldn't be able to see anything. And he'd probably, you know, he would, he'd just die. Kind <laughs> of story. And with that being said, I'm wondering, is there possibly going to be another character reawakening in the series? Because, I mean, Orochimaru doesn't have the eyes. He, he doesn't have the eyes. We saw it before. He doesn't have the eyes. He has his little snake eyes, you know, freaking snake, whatever. But where did he get, like, who did he give his eyes to? Who did he give his eyes to? That's what I'm wondering. Or did he actually just place them somewhere? Well, you know, it's, it's really like, you know... Yo, look, where where his eyes at? Where's his eyes? And I do believe his eyes are his Renegon, and that is why he was resurrected with Renegon. Um, because when I talk about the blood thing, like uh, I think blood's really important because blood is what makes you a uh, Uchiha. You know, you have Uchiha blood. Now, with that being said, if he died young and he was still running on blood, then that's probably when Edo Tensei could have taken effect. Like it could have remembered him from when he was actually on blood instead of this chakra stuff you know it's it's kind of like that like if he was living on like Edo Tensei possibly maybe it could be reawakening somebody from when they were on blood like when they're actually living now you could say that he's lifting off chakra but I mean blood I guess in this series is like what determines you know certain things like you know your dojutsu if you have a chia blood then uh, you'll have a Sharingan and whatnot so but one thing I am wondering is where he put his eyes at. Like, he only has one eye. Like, like, honestly, he did say he gave his eyes to someone. Well, I'm not too sure where he gave his eyes to. Like, that, like either he he gave somebody his one eye. You know, or actually, he either gave somebody his two eyes and somebody gave him his one eye. Now, with that being said, I believe possibly it could be Shushui. Um, just because Shushui di did die with one eye. You know, he did say he had one eye. And Madara could have use Shushui's eye on Obito and basically Shushui's eye does it makes people actually think thoughts that the person no it makes people believe that their thoughts are like all right so I'm using Shushui's eye on you you know I'll think my thoughts and it, you'll be actually thinking that your thoughts are made by you but I'm actually thinking thoughts into your brain so you think what you're doing is legitimate but it's actually me thinking what you're doing so you think your thoughts are real but obviously there's somebody else so maybe he did it in Obito and he somehow persuaded him to do that and that's his own like his eye that's um like a Shushui's eye maybe that's in Madara I don't know but I don't think it's gonna be that complicated um but it's a really good chapter and the one thing I like I thought was kind of interesting is uh how Madara was like this world is full of pain and whatnot and he's like uh he's like who cares I mean like this is obviously where he, it's funny because he doesn't care about the Uchiha he's like I will let you live as long as you help me, you know, and he's like, it's kind of being like somewhat hypocritical in a sense that, uh, he just said that it, it sucks, like this world is, it's really bad, and then he's like, okay, you live, do stuff for me, you know, it, it's kind of funny, but this was a great episode, all I'm wondering is where are the, these eyes coming from, because they're actually 
four Renegon on the field. Um, we have Madara, who has two Renegons in his eyes. Obito has one Renegon, but that is from Nagato. And now I think about it, I think Madara gave his Renegon to Nagato. You know, I'm, I just thought about that. Like, he gave his both his Renegon to Nagato. Nagato got his Renegon when he was young because it was never actually shown. And he was shown young having a Renegon. You know, his mom and dad... Maybe, maybe Madara sent in some ninjas to go and, uh, kill Madara's son or something? I don't know. Not, yeah, I don't know. I'm not too sure, but it's a great chapter. I'm just wondering where these Renegons are, because there's, there's four Renegons now. And Edo Tensei does have a play role in that, and, like, maybe it's just, uh, some fake Renegon, like, it's artificial Renegon, but there's four Renegons out. And Madara can only make two, because I guess his Renegon are, are the most legit Renegons, since he did, he is the one who made him, I guess, but, there's still two other running on, so I'm wondering, like, you know, it's, I don't know. It's a great chapter. It was a great chapter, that's all I have to say. So, with that being said, hope you guys do enjoy this, and peace the fudge out.